what's the buzz on the internet? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I like. I'm just like. Where's this? Is this Feige thing actually happening? Is the Johnson thing happening? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like Johnson's all in on Knives Out too. That was greenlit, and he's you know like. So that's further along than his Star Wars thing. Um, yeah. And like I said, this story that we just read sounded like it was going to be a Disney Plus series. However, the hope on the internet, Brock, I would yeah. have to believe because all the reports seem to say that this this new movie, was go- it was a movie, is going to be taking place on Exegol, about the Sith acolytes or whatever on Exegol. And when I looked at that, I said, nonsense. I mean, look, you make a movie on Exegol, that's fine. But immediately, I thought... If they did that, that could be a ballsy way to bring back everyone's favorite dark side son, grandson, grandson. Yeah. Ben Solo. Avid press. Oh. Oh. Ah! Look, the, the <laughs> twi- twi- yeah. Twitter wants uh, Ben Solo back. And I will side act on for a second, Brock. I, I went to the movies this past weekend. This guy finally saw a movie. First time oh. since... The Rise of Skywalker. I saw Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog. Yes. <laughs> Have you seen it? Oh, yeah. It's the best movie of the year. <laughs> it's way better than Birds of Prey. <laughs> I don't know why there's a big debate over Birds of Prey and Sonic the Hedgehog. Actually, but... they would be like, they're not similar in any way, but like, they would be, that would be a fun double feature because they're just both fun movies. But I would argue that Sonic is just a little bit more but enjoyable. Like, but they're completely different. Nonsense. I, know. I don't know why people are so How did Sonic make? Who cares? Anyway, yeah, I saw Sonic the Hedgehog. Had a yeah. wonderful time with it. I uh, stayed for that mid credit mm-hmm. scene because it was the best uh, best thing ever. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, it was it was, great. it was a good time in the theater. And um, what happened because of Twitter? They changed Sonic's appearance. I mean, it was more than just Twitter, but I'm going to narrow it down to shrink it to. Yeah. But they changed his appearance. Although I saw an interview with Jim Carrey, and Jim Carrey kind of made it sound like he wasn't too happy with the original design either. Anyway, mm. uh, so they changed the design, and it was, and it worked out for the movie. Ninja Turtles. I still think when the when they listened to the fans about Shredder, it didn't. You know, it was whatever. Uh, it made Out of the yeah. Shadows better, but it didn't really improve the first movie too much. Now you have a chance, Lucasfilm, to listen to the fans one more time or for the first time for you and say, look, they want Ben Solo back. You could give them one, a one-off movie or a Disney Plus series, Ben Solo on Exegol after he vanishes. Aaron Quinton has a theory where he was in the world between worlds because uh, Exegol has some kind of matter with that. Like there's a connection between the two. Um, so I don't know. It just it seems like an opportunity now if they wanted to to pull Ben Solo out and do it uh, this way and, and give the fans the fan service that they want. Yeah, you know what? Like, I hate to say it, I kind of agree with Aaron. The <laughs> <laughs> world's like, I don't hate it. <laughs> um, I don't think it's the next movie though. Uh, but Ben Solo, yeah. I mean, if you can get Adam Driver to come back. It's a no-brainer. Let's do it, and then we kind of get. Though, does that just does not not destroy? That's a t- terrible word. Does that take away from the ending of Rise of Skywalker? Where well, he is dead. The end. So my feeling on it, I did a video <laughs> on Scavenger Scum. You can see that where I kind of feel like it was the Leia thing. It could take away from that. However, all you have to have is a line. Of, the thing with all of these movies is a line of dialogue handles everything. Like oh yeah. I mean, Here's the thing, too. I think a lot of people are, like, hinging on, like, well, they don't talk that much in that little bit there, so it's, like, it's ambiguous. I'm like, I don't know if that's ambiguous or just dramatic. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know I mean? But, like, if he was, like... Hey, but go ahead. But, no, but, if like, say there's a line down and he goes, he goes, my mother, if my mother did this so that I could accomplish X, and the movie is about him accomplishing X to solve mm. some greater matter or something that needs to be taken care of. I don't know. Um, they did say it was the end of the Skywalker saga, uh, and and Palpatine makes it clear that Ben Solo is the last Skywalker. So I think that's when you come to a problem, which again is the stupid stupid marketing campaign of the Skywalker saga has come to an end. Like that's when you get into trouble. But again, you know, Aaron Quinton sent me a, a tweet uh, the other day 
holding that DVD, the Blu-ray box, the first Blu-ray box set, the complete saga when it has all six movies. He's like, well, they've done it before. And I was like, yeah. I mean, in fairness, though, they never anticipated the Disney acquisition, really, right? So, yeah. But at the same time, they have done it before, and I think that's, and I think that's why the marketing didn't necessarily work for this movie is because no one believes that it's the end. So if nobody's mm-hmm. believing it's the end, just go ahead and make another one anyway. But if you do it on Disney+, Plus, then technically it's not really the Skywalker saga. It's a, it's a PS. Yeah. It's like post-Skywalker. PS. <laughs> PS, post-Skywalker. But I was, as, we were, <laughs> as we were just talking, I was like, wouldn't it, how crazy would it have been if the ending were like, the old woman comes up and she's like, who are you? He's like, I'm Ray. Ray who? Ray Skywalker. They get rid of the old woman. She still looks off in the distance. Like, maybe he's like, I don't know, BB-8, what do we do next? And then she sees Luke and Leia in Force Ghosts. And they're like, for an adventure or something, walks off. And then, and then you pan over to Luke and Leia. And then Leia's like, so is this the end? <laughs> And Luke says, no, there is another. And then credit. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. Mark Hamill would have eaten that up. I think if you showed that to some people, they'd be like, (laughs) yeah. And it's so in that that folks, that's ambiguity. You're like, what does that mean? And that's why you come back. Uh, I don't think I would like that, but I would be like. If you sold it to me the first go, I'd be like, oh, whoa. (laughs) Hey, scumbags. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up on our video. As always, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Rebel Scum Podcast, for all the latest videos.